Peter McKinnon is influential. I'm not talking about how he got a million subscribers on YouTube in only nine months. I'm not even talking about how he raised over $3.2 million on Kickstarter, creating not one, but two camera bags. I'm talking about how he locks in big brand partnerships that pay him every single month, providing him income consistency. See, many creators think that the holy grail is snagging a high ticket sponsor for a one-off collaboration. The truly successful ones have brands begging them to forge long-term relationships. What's so special about Peter? In this video, I'll be analyzing and breaking down three of Peter McKinnon's brand partnerships, Squarespace, Skillshare, and Hyundai. Make sure to stick around to the end to find out how you can apply Peter's brand deal savvy to your own sponsorship strategy. Let's start off with sponsorship number one, which is Squarespace. Remember what I said just a second ago about how valuable long-term partnerships are? That's exactly what Peter has struck with Squarespace. The brand has sponsored a ton of videos on his channel, but there's one in particular that's especially fun called how to film a conversation with yourself so about a minute in he casually plugs a brand you guys have met Squarespace Pete you know that I use that kind of twin and myself and I play both sides to do all the advertising for Squarespace which by the way this episode is sponsored by Squarespace rather than doing the full ad read right away he teases the partnership but first jumps into the promise of the video to keep his viewers engaged in fact he actually waits until eight and a half minutes in Can I do it now? Yeah, just do it. Do I sit beside or just do it? I'll wait. I'll wait. Just from here? This is, yeah, go for it. Okay. Hey, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Does anyone at this point not know what Squarespace is? Who doesn't know? This is super clever. Peter has created a character called Squarespace Pete who actually plugs the brand. And what better way to do it than by interviewing himself? By the way, Squarespace Pete has recurring cameos every time there's a Squarespace spot. Sure, Peter could just talk about the brand straight to camera as himself, but by putting in the effort to make it just a little bit more fun, a little bit more engaging, his viewers become more invested. It's the only place you should ever go for a website. Okay, it's an all in one platform. Everything you could possibly ever need for a website is done in one place. Domains, customer service, templates, change up the look of store, sell things, portfolio. Literally, you could literally do all of it. He hits all the talking points, makes it sound like it's a no-brainer if you're in need of a website, and gives a call to action with a promo code. And best of all, it's succinct and funny. Next up, Peter's sponsorship with Skillshare. In one of his Two Minute Tuesday videos, he promises that he's gonna help you make your photos better in five seconds. But he starts off talking about pool. Pool or like billiards is the only game where I feel, maybe not even like the, the only game, I feel like it's the only thing in my life that I've practiced hard at and seen absolutely zero improvement. So he's planting the seeds of the fact that he's not great at everything. Sure, he's great at photography and making awesome videos, but pool? Nah, he sucks at that. And after a little bit of his signature wit, he gets into his quick photography tip. Okay, so this is like a super fast, small little tip that will make portraits, photos, anything where you have a light source, uh, it's gonna make anything like that look incredible. And when I say quick, it's literally only 44 seconds long. Then he plugs Skillshare. Do you need improvement in your life? Are you feeling frustrated? Are you looking for a chance to redeem yourself and learn some new things to make your life exciting. <laughs> this, is, this is too weird, I can't do it. <laughs> In all seriousness, if you are looking to polish up your skills, both within photography and video, or anything else for that matter, uh, like billiards and, and Kirk here, uh, today we are offering Skillshare premium memberships for the first thousand people that sign up at the link below. Nothing like an old timey montage. Peter incentivizes his viewers to check out Skillshare with an offer of free trial memberships to the first a thousand people who sign up. On a video with over 300,000 and views, only a small fraction of the audience is gonna be able to take advantage of that, right? Well, it's three months later, and when you click on the link, the free trial offer is still valid. Did fewer than a thousand of his viewers redeem it? Seems unlikely. Did they extend the offer? Maybe. Did they manufacture scarcity to drive immediate action? Perhaps. Skillshare have thousands and thousands of classes for you to choose from, so you shouldn't have a hard time dialing down something to your specific needs. One of the courses I like from one of my friends, Brandon Wolfel, that I recommend all the time. He's an incredible photographer. You can check his course out here. There's a bunch of other photographers that also have incredible courses. You got Chris Burkhardt, you got Trash Hand, a bunch of people on there. Click the link below and uh, yeah, start learning some new skills. Hopefully, uh, 
Hopefully better than this guy. <laughs> so Skillshare is positioned as the place to go to better yourself. And if you're watching a channel like Peter's, yeah, you want to be entertained, but you also probably want to learn to be a better photographer or a better filmmaker too, right? Also, did you notice how he called out specific courses from creators he loves? This adds depth and specificity to the sponsorship. Now, let's dive into his partnership with Hyundai. This is not your average brand deal. The video is called Just a YouTuber, and it's an incredibly constructed commentary against those who use that phrase to minimize the work and accomplishments of creators on the platform. I've heard it all before. You're a content creator, a YouTuber, a social media influencer. You're not a real filmmaker, a real photographer. And look, I get it. He's saying, hey, you, creator, watching this video, has anyone ever said those things to you? If so, you're in my tribe. We're the same, right? You want to hear what I have to say. So when I was approached to do this big project, I'm excited to get out there, shoot bigger things. Ooh, for the people that said that I couldn't do it, I'd take every word burning like flu. Talk about meta. This is a YouTube video about the creation of an ad. It effectively serves as a second ad for Hyundai following the spot itself that Peter made, but it doesn't feel like that, right? Peter has taken us behind the scenes like we're a fly on the wall of his personal journey. We're rooting for him. Yes, you've worked so hard for this. You deserve this. There's no talking points, there's no call to action because this type of partnership doesn't need those things because by the end, the next time a viewer sees a Hyundai, they'll remember that awesome video with Peter. So what are the takeaways for your brand deal strategy? Takeaway number one is that you shouldn't be afraid to integrate a sponsorship in the middle of a list. In Peter's video about filming conversations with yourself, he gave four tips, then did the Squarespace sponsorship, then saved two more tips for after the ad, giving his audience a reason to stick around. Educate your brand partners that it's all about retention and keeping viewers engaged. Takeaway number two is that you can give the call to action before you even talk about the brand. If you recall, Peter talked about the free trial membership with Skillshare even before he listed all the amazing courses and benefits that they have, right? Especially if you've partnered with a brand multiple times and your audience already knows the drill, switching it up with the offer right away could be an effective tactic. And takeaway number three is that you can tap into something visceral for everyone in your community and take a brand along for the ride. For Peter and the creator community, it's constantly being told to get a real job, right? How many times have I heard that one? For you, what are the odds you're up against? Or what are you fighting to overcome? Talk to your brand partners about supporting you on that journey and let your followers cheer you on. So let me know in the comments what creator's brand deal strategy should I deconstruct next? Hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll know when my next sponsorship reaction video comes out. By the way, do you want brand deal intel? Click the link in my description to sign up for my free newsletter.